What's going on all you Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and join me today for a look at the collected editions solicited in March of 2021 from DC Comics. So please stay tuned. And welcome back everybody. Before I even get started, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? We put out videos every day. So today we're going to be looking at the solicitations of March of 2021 from DC, the collected editions only, not the comics. So we have a couple of young adult stuff and then about 18 graphic novels. Um... Not a lot, but I guess a little bit better than it was a couple months ago when everybody was worried about DC shutting down. So hopefully this is the beginning of the new era for DC and we'll see more and more graphic novels. So let's stay positive. Uh, kicking off this list, let's go ahead and start these, is The Mystery of the Meanest Teacher, a Johnny Constantine graphic novel. I don't have to tell you, this is probably young adult and it is written by Ryan North. He's the gentleman that did Squirrel Girl, the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And then the artwork is Derek Charm. By the way, if I find out if these are deluxe editions, I will let you all know or put it in the content or description down here somewhere. Because a lot of you have asked me. But sometimes DC doesn't really tell me if a hardcover is going to be deluxe or not. So I will from now on, though, find out. Um, and put it down somewhere in the description of the content. Catwoman Soul Stealer, the graphic novel. So this is a graphic novel that's based on a novel by Sarah J. Moss. And the adaptation, really good to see this name here, is by Louise Simonson, Wheezy. And the art is done by Samantha Dodge. So it's a retelling of Selena Kyle in Gotham City. So another young adult book. And I know this is a young adult book because this has been... This is interesting, but this is Teen Titans Raven, hardcover, written by Kami Garcia, and then the artwork is Gabriel Piccolo. Love that last name. And this has been released in softcover before, so it's interesting that they're doing it backwards. Usually it's a hardcover release and then a softcover. This is the opposite of that. But, hey, DC. Now we get to the more adultish stuff, or more old teenager stuff. Uh, Dark Knights, Death Metal, The Darkest Night. That's a mouthful. This is the trade paperback version of the hardcover that came out this year. So you've got uh, just stuff from all over the DC Universe by James Tinian, Joshua Williamson, uh, Peter Tomasi. And collecting just a bunch of the one-shots. The Batman Who Laughs is getting a trade paperback. This is the stuff written by Scott Snyder and James Tinian and artwork by Jock and Eduardo Rizzo. Again, this has already been collected in a hardcover format. Deceased Dead Planet hardcover. This is the third of the Deceased um, books. And this collects the seven issue miniseries. All written by Tom Taylor, who I just found out is going to be the new writer on Nightwing. Hell yes. So excited for that. I'm a big fan of his writing, and I'm a big fan of Nightwing. So, all over that. Then we have Batman Adventures, Riddle Me This trade paperback. There's a lot of stuff in here written by Scott Peterson, Ty Templeton, and Dan Slott. This is the stuff, the comics that are based on the animated series. Batman Creature of the Night trade paperback. Uh, this wonderful story by Kurt Busiek and John Paul Leon. And this is the miniseries that takes place in the real world where Batman doesn't exist, but there's a character that could be Batman. I really enjoyed this. Um, I, I, this was one of my favorite reads this year, but it's a four issue miniseries. It's been available in hardcover, standard size hardcover, but now it's coming in trade paperback. Batman, King of Fear. This is the six issue miniseries. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, because you know I love when you all correct me. I don't see anything wrong with that. This was released digitally first, if I'm not mistaken, but it is artwork by the phenomenal Kelly Jones and written by Scott Peterson. DC poster portfolio, Jay Lee. I could have sworn I announced this already. Uh, maybe it was on the upcoming books um, for DC as a whole. And then we have DC through the 80s, The Experiments, hardcover edition. Um, judging by the price of $49.99, I know that doesn't say much, and 504 pages, I, I honestly no, this could be standard size because Man of Steel was the same page count and the same price, and that was standard size. 
So I don't know, it doesn't say if it's deluxe or not. And usually if it doesn't say deluxe hardcover, then this is probably a standard size hardcover. But here's all the content from all those different books, introducing new characters. So you have stories in here from Grant Morrison, Neil Gaiman, Alan Moore, Frank Miller. And these are the books that push those boundaries in the 80s. And then there are some hella books in here. Interesting that Batman The Dark Knight Returns is issue two though. All right, Event Leviathan is getting a trade paperback. Uh, the exact same content that was collected in the standard size hardcover. This is the Brian Michael Vendis event and drawn by Alex Maleev. It was good to see Manhunter though for a little while. Harley Quinn, Volume 5, Hollywood or Die, written by Sam Humphreys. And you have a bunch of artists in here for only six issues. So collecting Harley Quinn 70 through 75. And this has the ties to the Joker War. Legion of Superheroes Volume 2, Trial of the Legion. This is the new take on the Legion of Superheroes, written by Brian Michael Bendis. You have artwork by the phenomenal Ryan Sook, Stephen Byrne, uh, collecting issues of the Legion of Superheroes 7 through 12. I have not read a single issue of that stuff. So let me know in the comments if you dig it. I dug Naomi. That's Brian Michael Bendis. Not much of a fan of his Superman and adventure or action comics, though. Metal Man is finally getting a complete collection, and it is getting a trade paperback, so it's Metal Man Elements of Change by Dan Didio, and the artwork is by Shane Davis, who's been on the show a couple of times with us talking about Transformers. Hell of a guy, and hell of an artist. New Gods Book 1, Bloodlines Trade Paperback Book 1. So I don't know how many there will be, but this is stuff by Jim Starlin, uh, Mark Evanier, and then you have artwork by Paris Cullens. And collecting New Gods 1 through 14. And this is the part of the Bloodline saga. But I kind of dig that 90s looking cover over here of Orion and Darkseid. Suicide Squad. Bad Blood Hardcover. So this looks like... Let me see. $29.99. Damn it. It, doesn't, it just says hardcover. Uh, but collects issues 1 through 11 of Suicide Squad by Tom Taylor. So I'm definitely picking this up. I don't have the dimensions, so I can't tell if this is deluxe or standard size. I'm hoping it's a deluxe, but $29.99 makes me think it might be standard size, but that's 11 issues, though. Uh, something that I know is oversized is this next book, and that is Superman by Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason, Omnibus. Am I going to double dip? you damn right I'm going to double dip because I love this stuff. Uh, so he collects the Rebirth one shot that he did, Superman 1 through 25, 27 through 28, 33, 39, 42 through 45, Teen Titans 15, Super Sons 11 and 12, Action Comics 975 to 976, Superman Annual 1, Superman Special 1, and then the story that he worked on in Action Comics 1000. Now, one of the questions you're probably going to be asking me in the comments section is, what about those missing issues? Now, those missing issues 26 and uh, 29 through 32 and 40 and 41 were collected in the deluxe editions. Those are written by Keith Champagne and a couple of other writers. So this looks like it's just strictly a Patrick Gleason omnibus. So if he didn't write it, it's not going to be in here. Um, you know, well, I, I, you know, I've expressed my feelings on orphaned issues and I, I'm not a fan of it but I love this run so much and so I, I probably will be picking up the I'm gonna pick up the omnibus but if you want to be a completist and have it in an oversized format then get the deluxe editions because this does not include those missing issues Superman up in the sky is also getting a trade paperback edition one of the best books I read this year and that is the miniseries by Tom King it's got artwork by Andy Kubert and Sandra Hope doing the inks and this is the trade paperback edition. The standard size hardcover came out earlier this year. Superman's Greatest Team-Ups hardcover. This is a 400-page book, $49.99, and has stuff from the DC Comics Presents uh, issues. Lots of issues, 400 pages worth. And to wrap up this month's solicitations for March of 2021, we have Wonder Woman Volume 4, The Four Horsemen. This is the stuff by Steve Orlando. It's got a bunch of different artists but collecting issues of ba wonder woman 82 and 83 and then going back to the original numbering 750 to 758 and then wonder woman annual number three but that as they say is that 
And when these books come out, don't forget to check out our sponsor. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off. Retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. Leave those comments down below. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. Speaking of live, we have a live show every Saturday. It's a Q&A at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have so many of you that watch it and ask so many questions. I love it. I love uh, talking to you all one-on-one, -on -one, it feels like. Um, but yeah, we'd love for you all to join us for that. And that's it till next month. Let's see. Hopefully we'll get more books next month. More than just, what is this, 21, I think? So here's hoping. Uh, please, everybody, stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.